Good afternoon everyone, how's it going? So the StarCraft II editor has a weird quirk. If you change another unit's model to be a marine, it'll have the combat shield, even if there's no way for it to have been researched or applied. Depending on your situation, this might not be ideal. Now, if you're making a real, proper map with objectives and gameplay and stuff, the correct way to get a different marine is to duplicate the entire marine unit and assign it all the models, actors, effects, sounds, and everything else that makes it up. But that's pretty time-consuming if all you need it to do is sit in the background and look slightly different from the rest of the marines in the shot, so if we just want this zealot to look like a marine for whatever reason, that combat shield needs to go. First, in the data editor, open your actor editor. If you don't have it, click the little plus icon, go to actor data, and select actors. It'll show up in the little menu bar. Then search for your unit that you recently turned into a marine, again we are using the zealot. Find events and double click it. In the window where all the various actors are listed, right click and select add event. Right click the text next to the yellow flag and select add term. Change the actor type to actor creation. Then change your term to validate player. In the search bar, search for no marine shield and select it when it shows up. For the next item, change message type to animation play. Next to the drop down menu, click customize. In the window that appears, type cover into the add name text box and click the green plus sign. Select the new cover option from the list above, then click OK. Back in the previous window, in the Animation Properties drop-down, find and select Cover. Yes, you should have cover in two different places. In Flags, click Play Forever, and then below that, set Blend In to zero. And then, back in the main editor window, the marine formerly known as Zealot doesn't have the combat shield anymore. So that's all finished up, but just to be clear once again, this is a purely visual effect. If you're looking to do this for any sort of campaign map, or anything else with real gameplay where you need this unit to be an actual, functional marine, you're better off going to the effort of duplicating the unit properly. But if you are just looking for a way to add a little variety to your cutscenes or little cartoons like I am, this is a good and painless way to do it. Alright, till next time.